Welcome back. Today we'll be checking out the Arione Metal Silk Rainbow PLA filament. Small disclaimer, this roll of filament has been provided for free to me by Arione for this review. However, all my opinions here are my own. I am not paid for this video or to give a good opinion about this. But you get the chance to win one roll of filament of your desire from Arione. For more details, stay until the end of the video. Some facts about this filament. This is a one kilogram spool of filament and this is a silk filament, which means it's a shiny version of filament. There are matte and normal filaments sparkling. There are no glitter particles, no metal particles in this. It just is very shiny and the rainbow factor comes in because there's actually a lot of different colors on the spool which gives you a kind of a color transition on your print. This filament is available on Amazon and also directly on the Arione 3D store and the price here in Europe at least or in Germany varies from 23 to 28 euros depends on if there's a sale if you have a coupon code and where you buy it and obviously where you live and shipping cost that's all about the hard facts let's take a look at the prints i made whenever i receive a new filament i usually start with printing banshees to fine-tune the filament parameters i myself don't like this i don't like to fine-tune uh, parameters for filaments. I just want to throw the filament on and start printing. That's why I usually start with my Prusa Mark II S, which is a really reliable printer. And I have like standard stock settings from Prusa Slicer, which I just use for it and it works perfectly. So I printed a first Benchy with Prusa Mint PLA settings which uh, happens to have 215 degrees C for the nozzle and 60 degree on the bed. And as said, stock settings, I usually use 0.2 normal settings for my Prusa Mark II S. And the first print already came out really good. Um, I saw some minor flaws, like cooling was a little bit an issue, small strings, and also some yeah, layer line inconsistencies in terms of little blobs but they were really, really, really small. And you've got to say that a silk filament is not really forgiving. Um, glitter filament or matte filament is much more forgiving in terms of print quality, but silk does expose every little knit and every little bit. So as said, the first Benji came out really nice. Um, what I did then is tune down the temperature of the nozzle to, to five degree, which, yeah, immediately um, increase the print quality to my satisfaction. So there was no more or no further fine tuning needed. I just started printing um, different models. What I did is I went down five degree more because I felt like for a larger model with like complicated structures, it will be more suitable. And in the end, it turned out that it absolutely was. So let's start looking at the prints I made. What was the first print I made? It was one of my twisted star vases, which I really like. They are also really old. I made them back in 2017. The print came out really gorgeous. This is a vase mode print. Vase mode print again is also really forgiving because you don't have any re retractions. It ju it's just one solid um, parameter. So it again came out with any flaws. Um, the only issue was when removing it from my print bed, the bottom fell off, but I wouldn't uh, count this directly to the filament um, because as said, it's one, it's one outline and my Prusa Mark II S is running on its stock PI sheet. I just replaced it, so bed adhesion is quite good, which, well, led to this failure and overall i really like the color gradient on this vase um, the print came out really beautiful i'm really 
happy with the result of this print. Then I immediately went on to printing this Charmander piggy bank, which is really quite awesome. Luckily, I kind of had the right color transition uh, coming in because I went from the green, blue, green to green and then orange, red and kind of um, purple in the top, which came out really, really gorgeous. Um, this print especially is also quite not forgiving because with the shiny filament every every defect would have been shown on the print but I really cannot say anything bad again this was printed in 0.2 millimeter layers 10% infill two outlines I'm really happy with um, how the print came out all the models which I show here will be linked in the description below and well this one is hollow as you can see you can put in some euros on the back and start saving um, for the next crypto hype again. <laughs> <laughs> Next up was this heavy metal Groot, which also is quite a fun model. I printed actually a couple of Groots before um, of these baby Groots, but this one was new to me. Um, I really like the model. I also like the color transition from the purple again to the green all the way through red. And this print is more forgiving because it has more structure on the outlines or on the outer surfaces but again besides small widths which are on the print which you yeah cannot really eliminate uh, during printing even with PLA this print came out perfectly um, I really have nothing uh, to nag about the filament just worked really flawless and I think this color transition is really stunning then I went on and printed this Godzilla model from Chaos Cortec. Um, I scaled this down significantly um, because I was so impatient and the full model was around 200 millimeters tall. Um, the K print came out really gorgeous again. I was really lucky with the color transition from green to blue and then like a kind of a teal or something. Um, it just looks really gorgeous. The print came out flawlessly again even though I scaled it down and like these fingers are really small and uh, nothing fell off and the print is also really stunning. And then as last this uh, chameleon, well this one was a tough print, I actually had to print it like two times um, because I scaled this up 200% because I want a bigger one. I really also dig these articulated prints or 3D files and at one point the eye actually failed so I had a small layer shift during the whole model um, but I, I think you have to respect even the models with flaws. Um, the print was able to recover. This is not something which you can blame the filament for, either the user or the model. Um, which is kind of interesting uh, for this filament. The color transitions are not so small. You have to print kind of big um, models because here you have like a really smooth color transition from light green to dark green and you're not really able to see it because the model itself took so less filament. So what you can do is enlarge your print, increase your infill um, so you will print more filament inside, which I personally don't like because it's just wasted filament. But um, I would say this is the only downside if you expect really crazy rainbow um, colors on your prints. So what can I say all in all about this filament? I really like that I didn't have to fine tune anything at all except for the printing temperature. Um, for this filament so I didn't have to touch any retractions, bad temperature whatsoever, uh, extrusion multipliers, nothing there. Um, I really like the colors, I really like the color transitions for these models. Something which I'm not sure about is um, if you want to print a rainbow color, if you always want to print like these huge uh, figures, so smaller 
color transitions would really be cool. Um, I guess from a process point of view, making this filament uh, it's more challenging to do because you have to change your um, master badge more often, I would say. Um, but um, all in all, I can really recommend trying out this filament because um, it prints really well, it prints reliable, the colors are really gorgeous. I personally never had a silk uh, PLA before. I used a lot of glitter, sparkling, matte and the standard filaments um, because I was afraid that all the printing defects will be shown on the prints, but I'm really surprised and I really like it. So as said, um, in the end, you can decide yourself if you want to try out this filament, if you'd want to do so, as uh, this role has been provided to me for free. Um, and I also am affiliated with Arione. If you want to support me, you can go down to the description below, click on the link to Arione 3D shop. You can uh, purchase there from Europe, USA and all around the world, I, as I'm aware. And if you want to buy a roll, you can use the code WF3D during checkout and you can save 15% from your purchase. But now it's your turn. As promised, if you can stay until the end and if you survived all my notorious talking, then now you have the chance to win one roll of filament from Arione of your choice. The way to enter is pretty simple. Just like this video, subscribe to my channel please and then leave a comment in the comment section below. What would you print with this rainbow filament? Maybe you can also link a specific model you would like to print. I would be really curious. The giveaway will run for two weeks until May 10th and I will pick a winner on May 11th and select the most creative answer from the comment section below. Good luck everyone! I hope you liked this video and you found this video interesting. If yes, you could leave me a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and you can also subscribe to my channel, that helps out a lot. But that's it for today, I see you in the next one. Have a nice day and goodbye.